one year after Yahya Jame left for exile in Equatorial Guinea, following 23 years of his unrivaled Iron Fist rule, the Gambians breathed the air of freedom once again. But the socio-economic situation remains President Adama Barrow's real challenge. Food prices are still the same, salaries are not increased, the health sector is in shambles, the education sector is a farce, the public tra transport sector is... Uh, so nothing, nothing is really, nothing has changed apparently, apart from, I'm going to be very honest with you, the political space is now more open, we have no NIA and the jungler. Addressing his compatriots in his speech at the end of the year, President Adama Barrow underlined the heavy debt inherited from his predecessor, a debt of more than a billion dollars or an astronomical rate of 120% of the GDP. Development yet still. We didn't see no development in this country yet since this time. And nobody tells us that there will be this development yet. And we want the president to come out and tell people, Gambians, what he aimed for the Gambians and what, he is, what is his plan. But gradually, the Gambia is improving its economic indicators. Foreign exchange reserves have gone from less than a month of import coverage to more than four months at the end of the year, according to the Gambian president, Adama Barrow.